This is a WOSU COVID-19 update. Good evening, I'm Mike Thompson. Starting Friday, Ohio will reopen for business, at least start to. Governor Mike DeWine today laid out his plan to gradually ease stay-at-home restrictions. Starting May 1st, non-essential medical procedures can resume, so long as they don't require an overnight stay. Dental appointments can resume. The following Monday, manufacturing and distribution can resume, and general office spaces can reopen. A week later, on May 12th, retail and services can reopen. But businesses will have to abide by safety rules. Everyone, employees, clients, and customers must wear a mask. Companies must conduct daily health assessments of their workers in clean and sanitized workspaces. Employees must stay separate, and offices and stores can only be half full. These are first steps. Uh, first steps in regard to retail, first steps in regard to moving forward with manufacturing, with, with office, with the medical side. Uh, these are things that we've been waiting to do. Uh, because of what you d have done, we are now in the position to do them. Absent from the reopening plan, daycare centers, bars and restaurants, and hair salons. DeWine says if this phase is successful, other businesses will reopen. DeWine's plan disappoints a group of conservative House Republicans. They called for a full and immediate reopening of all state businesses. Ohio House Democrats say the state should not start the process of reopening until it sees 14 consecutive days of increasing, I'm sorry, decreasing incidences of infection. Ohio has not seen that. The death toll in Ohio stands at 753. 3,200 have been hospitalized, and the state has more than 16,000 cases, but only a small percentage of Ohioans have been tested. Stay up to date on COVID-19 through all of WOSU Public Media's channels. I'm Mike Thompson. Have a good night. Stay home and stay safe.